So one thing that I've learned after two decades working in elite sport with some pretty uh, high performance athletes and organizations, and whereas they're not so demanding on all the little aspects because they exercise well and they eat well, so that's not a problem, but their demands are much higher, their expectations are much higher. And over those two decades, we've been looking at all of these little things, the myths, the misunderstandings around sleep and trying to redefine that as best we possibly can. Not change it, not create things that are not true, just bring things together so that we can help coach an individual or a group just to make some little changes. We, we call it the R90 technique simply because it's uh, in a clinical environment, you look at sleep in a 90 minute cycle and benchmark that against the next 90 minute cycle. So five 90 minute cycles is 7.5 hours. And that's pretty much where your eight comes from, which most of us try to adopt. But in this 24 seven world with multi schedules, global communications, we have to look and use some of the techniques that we may use of in the past, not that long ago, like polyphasic sleeping. So the seven KSRIs, the R90 technique is a little journey. And it's not about making big investments. It's just making some practical and achievable behavioral changes. That's all it is that literally you can start applying the following day. And for a lot of our clients, if not all of them, whoever they are from elite athletes down to pilots and surgeons and parents and nurses, we can actually see that they would suggest and say that it's a paradigm shift to their approach. It's a game changer. They wish they'd done it many years ago. So those little seven steps are quite easy. We look at the circadian rhythms. It's nothing more than the sun up and sundown process. Your individual sleep characteristic called a chronotype, whether you're a morning or nighttime person, can have a massive effect on your everyday approach. We look at sleeping in cycles rather than hours, a polyphasic approach, which can really redefine the levels of mental and physical recovery you get and the way you cope with every role in 24 seven, seven days a week, three, six, five, and through all the seasons. We look at pre and post routines and particularly post routines because they're the most important thing about the start of your day and the impact of the rest of it. We look at a balance between activity and recovery. Recovery is not something about doing nothing. It's actually the most important thing about doing something. So a balance is very important. We look at environments. Human beings can sleep on anything, anywhere, anytime, in any place. Look at the planet. Look at how humans sleep all over the world. So when we get too hung up sometimes about our sleeping environments and our bedrooms and all sorts of things, and there are some key things about it which will encourage good recovery. And then number seven is products. When you go into the marketplace looking for mattresses and pillows that are gonna give you a perfect night's sleep or to stop you snoring, or all of these factors, there are certain little key things that you need to know because there's barriers in this particular area. So the R90 technique is nothing more than the seven KSRIs, the key sleep recovery indicators. It's a little journey through those little steps that we've talked about and making little behavioral changes in any one of those steps will aggregate up to a redefined approach. So redefine it, protect yourself and reveal yourself, your personal best more consistently and more often is the key to the technique.